Hello everyone. While teaching maths to many of my students from even the secondary standards like 6th or 7th, I have noticed that uh, many of them are not clear with the method for addition or subtraction of fractions. Okay, so I've uh, decided to demonstrate the method that I prefer to teach students here. Okay, let's see uh, the addition of fractions starting with a very simple example initially okay let's look at the first example it will let's take uh, something like one upon three plus one upon six okay so this is a very simple example but uh, the method is more important the method that we use the first thing to be done while adding or subtracting fractions is to check the denominators of the two fractions. The denominators of the two fractions have to be equal, that is the same number. Only then we can proceed with the next step of addition of numerators. Until then we cannot add the numerators. So first thing is to check the denominators. In this case, the first fraction's denominator is 3, the second fraction's denominator is 6. Now we have to bring it to an equal number. We all know that 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so we can easily double this 3 and it will become 6. So we'll basically multiply this 3 by 2. And while we are multiplying the denominator by 2, we have to multiply its respective numerator by the same number. So it will be 2 multiplied by 2 here as well. Okay, so the next step will be this fraction will become since we both the numerator and denominators are being doubled this fraction will become 2 upon 6 and plus the other fraction remains the same because it already has the denominator 6 with it so 2 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6 now the denominators are equal so now we can proceed with the addition of the numerators so while adding of addition of these fractions when the denominators are equal the numerators only get added the denominators don't get added okay so the numerators being added it becomes 2 plus 1 that is 3 and the denominator already it's equal the denominator remains the same it doesn't get added okay so we have to be careful with that so it will remain 6 so 3 upon 6 we can reduce this 3 upon 6 by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 3 Okay, so 1 times 3 is 3, so it is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6, so it will be 2. So 1 upon 2 will be the final answer that we have for addition of 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6. Okay, now let's look at another example, slightly larger numbers. Uh, let's say 2 upon 8, uh, sorry. 2 upon 5 plus 4 upon 15 okay so again in this case we'll first check the denominators the denominators are 5 and 15 we we already know that uh, 5 3 times is 15 so we can multiply both this numerator and denominator by 3 and we'll get the denominator as 15 in both the fractions so multiplying this by 3 and its respective numerator also by 3 we get the first fraction as 6 upon 15 and the second fraction will remain the same because we wanted the denominator to be 15 uh, uh, equal so it will be 4 upon 15 uh, here and the addition part will be denominators are now equal so the numerators will get added so 6 plus 4 it is 10 10 upon 15 okay so 10 upon 15 if we want we can reduce it by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 5 since both are in table of 5 okay so dividing both of them by 5 we get 2 upon 3 so 2 upon 5 plus 4 upon 15 gives us a final answer of 10 upon 15 which when reduced becomes 2 upon 3 okay now let's look at another example Let's say we are supposed to add uh, 5 upon 8 plus 7 upon 12. Okay, 5 upon 8 plus 7 upon 12. Now in this case, 
it's slightly different the denominators are different for sure and the table of 8 doesn't have 12 with it in it okay so what we need to do is we need to find the number that is the uh, first LCM that is least common multiple of 8 and 12 so in this case what we do is we recite the table of 12 the easy way to do it is recite the table of 12 and check where 8 fits in so 1 times 12 is 12 8 doesn't fit in there 2 times 12 is 24 and this 24 is present in the table of 8 right so 8 3 times is 24 12 2 times is 24 so 24 will be the number that will be used for the denominator we need to convert both both these denominators into 24 so the first fraction we will need to multiply by 3 for both numerator and denominator this will get us to, to the denominator as 24 for the second fraction it will be multiplying it by 2 okay so multiplying it by 2 for both numerator and denominator will get the denominator at 24 so the first fraction becomes 15 upon 24 and adding it with the second fraction which becomes 14 upon 24 right so now we have both the denominators equal so we can now straight away add the numerators so 15 plus 14 gives us 29 so 29 upon 24 this will be our final answer we can simplify it uh, into a mixed fraction mixed fraction gives us one integer 5 upon 24 since 24 one times can be subtracted from 29 right so one integer is for that and after subtracting 24 from 29 we get the re remainder as 5 so 5 becomes the numerator and the 24 remains as the denominator so one integer 5 upon 24 or 29 upon 24 will be our final answer for addition of 5 upon 8 plus 7 upon 12 okay this addition is addition part and subtraction part is very similar the procedure for of equating the denominators remains the same whether it is addition or subtraction okay even in case of subtraction the first thing to be checked is whether the denominators are equal or not if they are not equal we are supposed to equate the denominators using a similar procedure okay let's look at look at another example where we will be subtracting in, instead of adding Suppose we are to subtract uh, 11 upon 15 minus 1 upon 6. Okay. 11 upon 15 minus 1 upon 6. So we need to equate the denominators. The first procedure, first step remains the same in case of addition as well as subtraction. So for equating the denominators, we'll check the table of larger number. Larger number is 15. 6 doesn't fit in 15 because 15 is not present in the table of 6 right so we'll double 15 15 2 times is 30 now 30 is present in the table of 6 5 times 6 is 30 so 30 will be our lcm for 15 and 6 so we need to bring both the denominators to 30 for doing that the first fraction will will be multiplied by 2 for both numerator and denominator so multiplying this by 2 as well as this by 2 and for the second fraction it will be 5 times 6 is 30 so multiplying 5 to the denominator as well as to the numerator okay so the first fraction gets converted to 22 upon 30 sub minus the second fraction second fraction is 5 upon 30 now for subtracting the same procedure like addition since now the denominator is equal we can now subtract the numerators so 22 minus 5 22 minus 5 is 17 so 17 upon 30 will be our final answer for 11 upon 15 minus 1 upon 6 gives us 17 upon 30 okay i hope this uh, addition and subtraction of fractions basic method okay this is a basic method as and as numbers get larger for the denominators the procedure remains the same whenever the denominators are not equal we are supposed to find the least common multiple for the denominators first bring them to the least common multiple adjust the numerators accordingly 
and then proceed with the addition or subtraction of the numerators whichever is given okay so the procedure remains the same i hope this method of addition of and subtraction of fractions is now clear in case of any doubts difficulties please do comment on this video if you like it please do let me know and if you feel this will be useful to other students or other parents or other teachers please do share it with them thank you